by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Well, he told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. These raiders all carry guns, and they know how to use them. So whatever you think of me and AJ, deal with it, or you're gonna end up dead. I'd rather take my chances. Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. Guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. Shut up. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. You know what? Fuck you. Oh, stop it. Both of you. Let's just get the stuff we need, okay? Go in. You seem to know a lot about bombs. I well, made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. Perfect. Uh, here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here, next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. <sighs> we should burn her. Look, she's been like that for a long time. She's not a person anymore. It's 
stupid. We've all seen people die. Can't fall apart over everyone. It's better, you know, to get it over with. You get all caught up in who people used to be and you can't deal with what's in front of you. I'll tell everyone when we get back that I changed my mind. We need you. Thanks. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know, I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um, listen to your hat, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. The log's ready. I double-checked it. Triple, even. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Just try not to- ah, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, 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 no. Fuck! Shit! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! I know I'll be all right. <laughs> Don't have much time. Go. to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Get the chance. Where's our new recruits? <laughs> They're not yours. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. He taught me how to survive. How to kill! Yeah, some job he did. He still died, Clementine. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, 
I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother, she missed him the most. Shit! Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. <laughs> no! Kill who you have to! Take the rest! 